Have you ever wondered if it's possible to change skin color, nationality, or gender in a video using neural networks? Today, we're diving into the exciting new features of Onejo for content creation. You can find a similar video on sites with stock content, but as you can see in the original, there is no sudden change in people. So how to achieve this effect? Wunjo offers two types of restyling, the old method and the new method. Let's start with the previous method. For both methods, you can add any custom, stable diffusion 1.5 model. You can change specific objects. First, we select the object. We pick the object and it gets automatically tracked throughout the video. You can also adjust the timing of objects and choose multiple ones. For each object, you can select the necessary parameters and prompts. Strength refers to how much the original image or object who should change. Scale means how much the changes should correspond to the typed description. Previous method may not be suitable for everyone. Yes, it has advantages, like generating the current frame based on not just the current frame, but also the previous frames and the object's movement. But this requires a lot of memory. You'll need 24G guide of video memory for good results, which is quite a lot. So what if you only have eight gigabyte of video memory and want high resolution results? Yes. You can by control restyling. When you turn it on, you're greeted by a slider. This slider automatically splits the video to account for all transitions and get the best result. In our video, there are no transitions, so we'll set it to the minimum. Now we see the same parameters as in the usual restyling. You can select an object or you can leave the whole frame unchanged. You control the brush size and color, and you can erase with the right mouse button. Additionally, you can download the generated image, insert your own image, clear the mask, and reset to the original frame. This way, you can tweak as many objects as you want, refine all the details, and see the final result. I recommend keeping the control net parameter close to 0.9 and the strength parameter around 0.4 or 0.5 for the best results. But even if there are flickers, uh, you can always lock a specific face in your new character or enhance the video quality by eliminating flickers altogether. Let's process some frames and see the magic happen. Uh, control net dictates how closely the new frame will match the current one in terms of contours and the second parameter controls the smoothness of transitions let's speed up the process run
after styling the video, you see the face blinking or its changes. You can always use face swap. See the first review for more details. How about generating videos and images locally on your computer with difference aspect ratio? This is what I came up with in generating videos from text and images. You can also work with the image. For example, generate a video from it or modify it. Outpaint, inpaint the details or full image. Try to do outpaint. You can set prompt for outpaint or trust the neural network. By clicking on loading, you can always see what is happening inside during processing. You can generate images and videos of various aspect ratio from text. The parameters are the same as in content restyling. You can use any model of stable diffusion. One off. Even while generating a video or image from text, you can always edit it or regenerate it. Every voice has a unique signature. Wunjo voice cloning method allows you to bring audio to life with voices that are funny from cartoon, entertaining, or even deeply charismatic from movie. What's about cloning? Short wang. It's designed to create distinctive and memorable voiceovers, not to clone the voice of an ordinary person for selfish reasons. The main goal is to enhance your content with voices that truly stand out. In Wunjo, there are two ways to clone speech. The first method is from text, but you need to specify the language in the settings beforehand. The second method is by changing the voice in existing audio. You can record the audio in real time with the desired accent or voice acting, or you can use pre-prepared audio. Note that for the second method, you need two voice samples. One is the voice you want to change, and the other is the same voice speaking a different text. If you have a long piece of audio, you can use one audio file. How Improve Voice Clone This method it allows you to separate the voice from any background noise including both vocals and instrumental music. This means you can not only modify a regular speaking voice, but also a singing voice in clone voice, and then seamlessly combine it back with the musical instrumental. Let's look at the settings and how you can customize the application for yourself. Firstly, processor switching. You can switch between processing tasks on a GPU or CP or secondly, port selection. You can choose a port number for the application, allowing you to host it online 
under your domain. Thirdly, public link generation. Generate a public link to access the application from any device over the internet without needing your own host. Fourthly, application information. View details about memory usage and disk space occupied by various models and generated content. Fifthly, task management. Configure the number of simultaneous tasks. By default, it's set to one, but you can adjust it based on your computer's capacity. You can also determine how many people can use the application concurrently if you share a public link. At sixth, task delay. Control the time interval between launching separate tasks to avoid overloading your computer. Seventh, memory control. Manage both RAM and video memory usage, reserving memory for other programs while processing tasks in Vunjo. Tasks will only start when there's enough free memory as specified. Eighth, file size limits. Set the maximum file size that can be uploaded to the application, controlling its limits. Ninth, uh, output resolution. Control the output content resolution and based on your preferences and computer capabilities including options for Full HD or 4K. Default settings are optimized for performance. And last option, input file duration. Manage the duration of input video and audio files with the ability to handle even hour-long files. This is a significant advantage as it allows processing lengthy files, which is often not possible with online services. At the end, don't forget to click on Apply to save your settings. I hope you enjoy the new features of Wunjo. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new releases and support the project on Boosty. See you next time.